I want to see how deep I can go. I want to see things and hear things. I want to know the depths and the dimensions of God. And this is what he's praying. He's praying. And he says, the way you get to this, he says, the eyes of your understanding have to be enlightened. That's what's going to happen for you this weekend. You're going to get revelation. <laughs> oh, revelation. Why? Because revelation is a paco. I mean, it means to uncover. It means that there are things there that we just can't get into in the natural. But God is about to cut the top of your head off. And open it up and pour out revelation to you this weekend. And I'm going to know when you hit it. I'm going to know when you got it, when you take off running out that door and running around the property. I'm going to know you got it. Why? Because there are things in us that have yet to be untapped. And I'm hungry for it. I'm hungry for it. I'm hungry to know the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling. Oh, what have you called me to? Oh, see, there are two types of callings in your life. There is the individual call to your life. Which means that's the personal destiny over your life in which God has called you to fulfill a kingdom assignment. But then there is the ultimate call for your life, which comes from Romans 8. That moreover, those who he justified, those he also called, or those he called, he justified. Those he justified, he glorified. What was the call? That he predestined us to be conformed to the image of his son. Which means you've been called to be Jesus Jr., <laughs> is this too heavy because if you can't take this you better not come in the morning <laughs> this is foundation I'm just we just getting in the water no he says I've, I've called all of you to be conformed to the image of my son that Jesus might be the firstborn among many brethren God says, I'm not satisfied with me having one amazing, great, anointed son. I will not be satisfied until every one of you look just like him, act just like him, talk just like him. So if you really want to pursue your destiny, you got to do more than your job or make money or go to ministry or do whatever you've been called to do in this earth. If you really want to fulfill your destiny, Jesus is my potential. He, he, I want that destiny. I want to be conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. That's what he's called us to. And he says, I pray that you get revelation of just how to enter that calling. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. And then he says, he says that you may know the hope of his calling. And then what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints? My God. See, I told you the duality of heaven. While we are affirming God of his greatness, he's trying to affirm us of ours. It's like you can't talk to him about him without him talking to you about you. Why? Because he already knows who he is. But he knows we don't really know who we are. So he's constantly trying to tell us, and you too, and you too, and you too, and you too. 
This is why he says, I want you to know what is the, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. I know this might be hard for you to, to fathom, but you don't just have an inheritance in him, in which you do. But no, you are his inheritance. Which means God did everything he did. Jesus did everything he did so God could get you. Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. Say, if you knew who I was, you'd have spoke to me different when you walked in here. If you really, if, do, do you have any idea of how heaven sees you? If you did really know how heaven cherishes you and how heaven sees you, you could never be depressed. You could never have low self-esteem. You could never worry about who didn't love you, who didn't like you, what color you were born, who trying to hold you down. See, all of that tells me that's just people who don't know who they are. I ain't got time to fuss about all of that stuff because it doesn't matter what color my skin is. It matters who my daddy is. <laughs> and if God be for me, who, who can be against me? People who struggle with all of that stuff don't know their real identity. I know I am an heir of God and a joint heir with Christ I'm his child don't you mess with me <laughs> this is why when you understand that you're his heir you're God's heir he says everything I got I got it just to hand it to you he says, you're mine. He says, you've got to get a revelation. Oh, God. And then he says, and also I'm praying that you may also know what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us who believe. And I saw it. My salvation ain't complete until I get my identity, my authority, and my inheritance. 